So friends, now we are we will discuss about limitations of Oswald's dilution law. Okay, so we have understand what is this Oswald's law. It only it obeys only in the case of quick electrolyte. Okay, so what are its limitations? Oswald's dilution law is obeyed only by weak electrolyte okay this is its limitation and and it completely fails in case of weak oh, sorry strong electrolyte for example strong electrolyte like acl naoh sodium hydroxide uh, potassium chloride etc so it obeys in case of only strong weak electrolyte and completely fails in strong electrolyte okay and what is the reason behind this failure the reason behind this failure fail this failure is that strong electrolyte This strong electrolyte exists in the form of ions even in solid state. Okay, that is why. Then the reason behind this failure is that strong electrolyte exists in form of ions. Okay, in form of ions even in the solid state. Okay, so this is the reason behind this failure in solid state. And this electrolytes are completely ionized. Ionized at all concentration. Okay. So there is no equilibrium between these two ions and the ionized molecules. Okay. So so there is no equilibrium between the ions and the ionized molecules. Hence, Oswald's dilution dilution law is not applicable. Okay, applicable. Sorry, So this is limitation of the Oswald's law. You can write in exam or you can improve this. Okay. So for today, thank you all.